What's up everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to another video here on the Poker Staples channel. Some pretty exciting runs today in some conventional poker. The 215 deep stack, the $55 deep stack, and the 109 Classico. So these are non-knockouts, these are conventional tournament poker, uh, and I think it creates some pretty fun spots. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Anything you wanna let me know down in the comments below, as always, I love reading your comments. Uh, most of them. <laughs> Shout out to you few. Uh, and if you guys wouldn't mind dropping a subscribe on the channel, that would be great. But without further ado, enjoy the highlights. All right, we make a straight. We don't have a flush, but I still think it's worth leading with a straight. Here's Jaruman, who calls, and a four on the river. We'll bet again, and probably bet fold here, especially when the board pairs. I think it's too thin to, uh, to bet and then call a gem. They have kings, kings and fours. The ace 10 in the 55 deep stack. We'll call on the big blind. Let's see a flop where we flop an open ender and an overcard. Nice. They bet 6K. I think just starting with a call is fun. Deuce on the turn. Now's where it gets interesting. Let's check, check. Queen on the river. All right, let's go for a bet. No, not that big, dude. The thing is, like, it's the most obvious thing we have here. Um,. Like, if we bet big, they just need to fold everything, unless they made, like, a two-pair or something on the river, right? The 215 deep stack, we open, get a call, call. Queen, 8, 6, 2 spades. I want to keep some strong hands in that check call here. And we do block spades and backdoor diamonds. And a big bet on the turn. But we'll call. Especially when we, like, check back with this hand. It's literally the best hand we have in this situation. We have no better hands than kings. Queen makes it less likely that they have a full house, but spades do get there. Ha, ha, ha. Should probably call just based on, like, checking back flop, right? Like, we're so high up in our range. We lose to 9-10. We lose to any queen. Although, I don't think they bet any queens on the turn except for full houses for that sizing. So, this actually makes it less full houses. Um, they could bet spades like that on the turn, possibly. That we block spades a little bit. Yeah, but I think just based on checking back flop, I think we need to call. King nine. Sweet. That is a big pot for us, man. That's really, really good. Raised to 5,000. All right. Queen's ace nine. Hold it. We got some more chips in the 215, dude. These are... This is a nice situation, dude. Back at four bet. Just thinking about it and it's going to call. Okay. King six four in the flop. There's better flops. There's worse flops. Lots of action to start. Come on. Okay, get a call. We turn the nut flush draw. Obviously, we're going to jam here. We use a bit of time bank. Fold. Oh, we get there. King, queen. Make it the call. The correct call. I mean, it's top pair, second nut kicker. Of course, it's calling. But we get there with a heart in the river, you guys. And we have doubled up at the 109 Classico. Okay, so we're going to see bet here with the Kings in the 55 deep stack. Call it off. Hold. <laughs> hold. Hold. Yeah. Let's go. We hold, man. Yo, chat. What's up with these stacks? We have Ace Ace on the button with 220, 226 to start. Oh, just gets better and better, doesn't it? This is too nice. Why don't you come along? Kings and Kings. Are we getting greedy? Yeah, we are getting greedy. Against King 10. Good flop, great turn, dead on the turn. Let's go, you guys. Ace is full, Barry on the river to seal it. And we are up to 300,000 in the 215 deep stack. Look at the 55 deep stack. Look at that flop. That's okay. It's an all right flop, isn't it? Bet take it down. Okay, both deep stacks over 300K. All right, here's a big moment. The tiger postage stamp right there. 561,000. We're going to re-jam with the ace 10. We can't call and then fold to a jam, so we might as well jam it ourselves. In the 215. It's a big pot. Against ace jack, unfortunately, we run into a better hand. Nine ball. Jack won't do it. We are one away from what we needed. Still at 300k. Open the ace queen. We get a call directly behind. And then up here, I think it's actually a squeeze jam for effectively 22 big blinds. I mean, it plays well post-flop, but the thing is, we have a lot of uh, fold equity here, and our hand plays well against the sort of hands that raise and call here. I uh, get a call from ICM. And we're flipping. 
Oh my goodness. We've won a flip chat. We have 931,000. That's a huge stack. Uh, I think we have to call. Just raise, call, call, squeeze for 37 and a half big blinds, but we have ace queen. Like, that's too strong. Against king queen. Let's go. Come on, B car. Oh my god, we got 300k in the class. Go more. We got 330. We're all in with A7 as well. Take it down. 21 bigs. I don't think this is GTO necessarily. For for balance re reasons, you know? Like, to have a jam over a limp range when you're 20 big blinds deep isn't great. But against this opponent, I think it's fine. Um, we lose a flip, so we're at 600k. Still in a fine spot. All right, there's just so many bluffs. We'll call. Let them continue bluffing, hopefully, some of the time. Bit of 11-5. We'll call again. Brick. Brick enough. If they have 8-9, so be it. But the question is here, chat. Is their hand good enough to raise? No. They potted. I almost want to fold, dude. I don't think I can. We have three of a kind fives. In a limp pot. I'm Nice. It's one of those unique hands where we might actually have gotten paid off there by raising. All right, a jam in the 55 deep stack. We're six off the money. Do not bubble me, please. Do not bubble me, but we have ace-king. We call. Against Jax. We're bubbling. It's over. No, oh, it's a king. b -car, I won this one for sure. Fist bumps? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I got the chips. 1.1 million. We're going to go down to the 5-3 suited and raise blind versus blind as well when Aspartame limps against us. A call, okay. Ace nine four flop. Go for a bet. Thirty five thousand with three five. Tells. <laughs> We're giving off tells, chat. What's Aspartame thinking about? Getting four to one. Um, I'll call. We only have eight percent clean on the turn to improve to a straight, but then also this is kind of garbage. I don't think they have an ace very often here. It's really telling as to whether they check or not, because I think it's pretty unlikely they check an ace. So I'm going to go for it. Sick float. We're three betting Aspartame as well. About 196,000. Come on, Stark. Find a call, my friend. We have so many 9x. Trust. And we're down to 80, by the way. So we have made the money. And we do get a call. Big pot coming our way. 1.4 million. We have 73,000 on the turn. I think we just call and then probably call River. The thing is, like, our hand is pretty good. We can protect from a few things. But, like, what sort of draws do we want to check raise on this turn on the stack depth? We just don't. Like, I think we should just play a pure call here and uh, go to the River. Six of diamonds. So flushes get there, but we do have the ace of diamonds. So that's kind of cool. And all in for 16 big blinds. There's no, there's no, um, there's no bounties here, but like Queen Jack suit has got a lot of equity. I think by the book we call. I don't know anything about this opponent really. I guess we just call. I don't know. Without information, we'll just give it a go. Diamond. Queen Jack, I'm going to raise it up to 63,000. Go for a small bet here on the deuce 3-7. We're, we're both going to miss this quite a bit. They're going to hit it slightly more than us. Hence why we're just going for a very small bet. Just like trying to get a little bluff through. When a queen or a jack comes on the turn, it's really good stuff for us. And they just fold. Actually, it's close between raising and checking. I feel like Aspartame is going to have a higher than normal limp raise frequency just based on our history. So I'm going to elect to check back the king-queen. We see an ace-king-deuce flop, which... It's pretty good for our hand. Get a 54,000. A lot. Yeah. A lot of draws they can have here. They can have the broadways. They can have hearts. They can have 3x, 5x, queen jack, queen 10, jack 10. They check on the river, and I'll check. I mean, they're representing they either have an ace or a bluff. We're not getting any value from bluffs, so we have the nuts here. Bam! All in. All right, and a fold from Aspartame, but we're up to 848,000. That's a huge chip stack, and here... We are going to lead with our queen nine on the turn. It goes bet on the flop for third. Call, we call as well. And in the turn nine of hearts, we lead. They both call. I'm still going to go for a river bet here. 
I think it's thin, but I think we have the best hand a lot of the time. Because I think straights are just going to raise. Obviously, we call here in the Classico. Sevens against Ace King, big flip. We need to win this, man. We need to win it. Let's go, chat. 200K coming our way. We're up to 400,000. Four off the money. Come on, man. So we raise up the Ace-10, get a call. We're going to raise Ace-10 here as well. And both the deep stacks, we're raising Ace-10. This one's starting off pretty well. Flop at a top pair, top kicker on a dry board. Bit 125. We see a four in the turn. And bet 350 now. It's pretty awkward if they jam. But they fold, which is fine. So up to 2.1 million. That improves us to 10 of 41, 10 of 43. All right. This ace-10 got through, by the way. So that's sweet. We're going to call here. It's a five big blind shove. Three off the money. Do we need to get there or just hold against ace-king? King-10. Even better. Can we still hold, though? It's the same, basically. We held. Oh, my goodness. How do we hold? We're down to 42. Red felt hype. Let's go in the 109 Classico. Way too long. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. How do we play this optimally? I think if it goes bet, we call... Allow Saul in to check raise with worse draws. It's just not that much in the pot to want to like check check raise, call off. Saul overcalls. We pick up a king. Now I don't think a king is good, but it gives us an additional outs against other hands. If they have a set, it doesn't give us more outs. If they have ace king, it doesn't give us more outs. I guess it does with straight draw. No, we already had the straight draw. Pretty awkward. They bet 108,000. We're getting a little bit less than three to one. King could give us the best hand, so I'd count two outs there and then the hearts. And then we have this player in the middle. This is hella tight, man. This is a tough one. I think we call, though. All right, well, let's get it in. We're losing if they have ace-king. We're losing if they have jacks. We're losing if they have nines. And they bet into two people twice. But we beat a hand like ace-jack. We beat a hand like ace-nine. We beat a hand like ace-queen. And we beat club draws. And if they had ace-high hearts, we now win as well. Which actually is a decent amount of combos. I think I'll just jam. Take it down. I don't know if that's the best line. I'm confused by that whole hand. There's just a lot going on. We have a very strong hand with a lot of draws, but then also our opponents are representing a lot of strength. So I'm not entirely sure if I screwed up in that hand and if I did where. But in the meantime, we have a three bet with Jax against Aspartame. Two off the money here. We cover everyone uh, at the table, so we can feel pretty comfortable, and everyone folds. So up over a million in the deep stack, 1.1 million-ish. We have queens in the 109 Classico. The Classico. By the way, we've cashed this tournament as well. We are a triple red felt and a salmon. Oh my god. Look at this. This could be it for a triple red felt. We're obviously three bidding. <laughs> obviously three bidding queens, and if they just have aces, it's over. If they have kings, it's over. If they have ace king, we've just won too many flips today. We can't keep winning them. Uh, I think limp call is fine with the a6 here. Oh, so, so, so good, man. So good. Bet of 27,000. We'll just call. It's a dry enough board that it doesn't really make sense to check raise anything here. But we can lead this turn. We have a full house here. Uh, maybe check, actually. Stark can't think we check a straight. Do it quick, Stark. Do it quick. Oh my god, no! Alright, they had 7-5. Alright, we weren't getting any money. Oh, the 109, and we can't hold there. And look at this. We have jacks in the Classico. The jack and the jack. j -neck. Put it in. It all rhymes, dude. As the sub-alerts continue. Whoa. And a jam from Stark? This is huge. We obviously call, though. That's massive. Oh my god, dude. 1.2 million! That's a huge shove! That's so big. That was like 40 big blinds. Guys, we're 2 of 25. God, that was huge. That was so big. Check back. Control the size of the pot. Beautiful. <laughs> Such a good turn. Such a good turn. Pull up. Welcome. Bet turn we call. Nine in the river. Spades miss. Queen 10 straight draw gets there. The other ones miss. Um, They pot it. I think we call. I mean, we have trips. I think we call, right? I have a flush. And in the 215, we limp at the 10-8. We're going to start with a check call. We get a call in the big blind from Miracobes 20. The check back. One of the few stacks that are deeper than us in this tournament. Don't you do it now, too, with the pot jam. No, I'm just kidding. They're not going to jam. Whatever. I say that, but you never know. Probably one street of value here. If we bet twice, we're trying to get called by 
ace jack. The 215, we win a pot as well with 10 8. Nice. 10 8 of diamonds is pretty polaric. He is thinking for a long time they fold. It's going to be jam. Our opponent is 13 and a half or so, big blinds deep. 10 8 suited has enough equity. They have ace jack. GG. Oh, no, wait. We have 300k. Okay. Well, I guess we're still alive, but disappointing for sure to run into uh, a callable hand there. Let's try and go northward with the stack against Viol Avo with King 9 suited. They have sixes. We're flipping. A little nine ball on the turn. We're back, man. No problem. Tremendo Day is dropping 100 bits. Thank you, Tremendo. Appreciate that, man. There it is. Big hand, guys. The big, big pot. It's ace four. Can we hold it? Let's go. One million coming our way in the 215, the biggest one of the group. Now let's go back up to the 55. We're 15 of 15. We have king, queen suited with just under seven big blinds. If we can double this back up, we're back to where we were, basically. Pulls around to the big blind. King eight. Come on. Oh, my God. We're back to 1.5 million. We're not dead. We're not even worried anymore in chat. We're not even worried. 15 left. Ace King, we raise in the 215 deep stack. First hand on a new table as we're down to 24. We're going to go for a C bet on this King 7 4. We're also going to raise up Ace 8 suited in the 55, 12 to 13. Becca to call three on the turn. Doesn't really change much about the board. If they have 5 6, they get there, but they call on the small blind. So it's pretty unlikely they have 5 6 type hands. Bet 262. The Ace 8, I'm going to go for a small C bet, 150. Oh, Mrs. Robinson. Please don't have the nuts. I got Ace King. Hey, 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 We're going to go for the thin uh, value jam here on the river. Set of sevens. Uh, we're going to jam the fours as well on the cutoff up here. Down to 300k, unfortunately, in the 215. That is heartbreak. Uh, top, top into sevens, dude. Not much you can do. Uh, Leonore opens 10-8. Eh, it's close. I think jam, though. Leonor's a, a regular. They've got a big stack. I think they're going to be opening wide enough. And we've got equity when called. Take it down, 2.4. It's a really interesting split. Sevens on the button. I think open gen. You can raise call, but it's a little bit risky given the way stacks are to want to do that. You can limp jam, but then you risk going to a flop and giving you know this random hand free equity. So I think just open jamming is the best. Open. From Amulek Das U. I think probably just call this in the big blind. Yeah. 93, two spades. Not the flop we were thinking of. We kind of wish it was 10 9. <laughs> Three. With two clubs. That'd be better. Uh, folds around to Leonora. 47. 850 in the pot. Checks through. Eight on the turn. Let's go for a bluff. It's kind of cool because I think a lot of our draws are not going to want to bet here. Because if they get jammed on, then they have to call off for their tournament life. So it's like pretty much polarized to like weak draws or pure bluffs like that one. Just two overcards. Here we are picking up sixes. 22 left. It's the first step in our spin up to dreams. We're going to limp as well with jack eight in the small blind. We're in sixth place after that hand. Really? No, we're in eighth. I see the lobby. We're in eighth place. So with a check call here. And we are going to get it in. Good luck us. And we're going to defend with king nine. Three hands in action. Oh, flop it a two pair. They barrel turn. Mm. It just doesn't make sense, though. They're just going to raise ace x. What are they saying they have? They're so, like, club draw heavy. And that queen makes it less likely they have a queen as well. Oh, man. Ace five of clubs. All right. Check jam with the two pair. Let's get a call. All right. Fold 646. Would have preferred a call, obviously, but it's fine. We should check jam. Check raise there because we have so many like straight draws and flush draws that want to check raise. Check calling doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, a four bet. Okay. Six, five. Nope. GG guys out in 22nd place in the 215 deep. That is going to be the end of our run in that one. Disappointing. I mean, pretty much the same. We might have got 22nd yesterday. Don't open. That makes it very awkward. Good. They fold. Sick of mind jams for eight big blinds. I think it's a regem. I don't think there's enough payout pressure, so we'll just go out for a rip. Hope for the best. It's fours. It's a pretty good lineup. Pretty good lineup, you guys. 957,000. Big pickup for us. That'll put us in seventh place going forward in the tournament. Come on, open. It's it's a game flow spot they're going to open. What? Let me jump. 
A snap regen. Oh, is it a final table bubble? I think it is. I think it's a final table bubble. Oh, I can say it's 10. Never mind. It's 5.5 million all of a sudden. Gonna jam in the ace three suited, guys. Uh, profitable jam. Not because we're tilted, but because it's the right move. You get called directly behind. Four sixty five is our finish. That's happened a lot <laughs> the last uh, week. That's happened a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh my god! Bah! Final table height. I can't believe it, dude. The two chip leaders. We're final table of the 55 deep stack. Coming into the final table, four of eight. Because look at this. Mary Rick Reary has 31 million. Second place has 8.6. Whoa. Whoa. That's a difference. All right. Going to net fold here with the Jack-10 suited. It's a pretty looking hand, but we can't call any reshoves. Just going to be kind of tight here to start. Folds around to us against a very short stack. We got to jam the 7-8 suited and hope for the best. Heart ball. Corner pocket. Bam. We can't get it done. The 7-8 against King-10. Just give me one second to rejam ace queen here. Fold. Oh, hey, hey. $508, no. Oh, how did this grind turn into this? Thank you guys so much for watching. Rolling along, we have the knockout series going on this week on Party Poker, so I've been streaming and playing a bunch of that. Have some exciting highlights coming up of those runs pretty soon. Uh, anything you wanna say down in the comments below, drop a subscribe if you wouldn't mind, and check out some of the other videos we got rolling out, okay? Until next time, we'll see you later. Shall we do this? It's ace four for 158 bounty. Oh, it feels so good to finally get a bounty. Come on, B-Car. 158 bucks. Wait. We chopped. Oh, my God. I thought what? I was like, but uh, how did we not win, dude? The board paired, and then it was a king and a jack. My kicker didn't play, but I... Oh my god, man.